Hi, my name's Jess. I'm from Montana, and this is Financial Audit. And how old are you? 27. 27. Awesome. Well, thanks for coming down from Montana. What do you do up there for a living? I am a nanny right now, so I've been in oh. child care a long time. Okay, so how long have you been doing that? Since, like, before graduation high school? or Yeah, like, right after I graduated. What made you want to go into that? Um, well, I just, I don't know. I've always kind of liked kids. I took care of my siblings growing up and just yep. kind of fell into it and got training and went from there. Has it been a successful career so far? No, it's not very good pay. <laughs> oh, well, what are you making? What do you think on, like, um, a monthly basis on average? So right now, I just recently started this nanny job like a couple months ago, and it's 16 an hour. I feel like my friend, my friend who just watched some kids like who's 19 makes more than that. Why is yeah. it so low? Um, I don't know. Is this for a Montana, company or is this? Hmm? No, it's just privately. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, wow. Yeah. So it's just the area and everything like that? Yeah, I think way like pay wage is a little lower in Montana, like sure. on average. But, Just across the board. But yeah, it's it's I don't know. This job is actually more than I've made in the past, like Good. working at child care centers. So, well hopefully with yeah. that the cost of living's also lower. I'm hoping we're gonna collect some information and figure that out. Mm -hmm. Um oh, okay. <laughs> well <laughs> so okay. What well, did you say sixteen fifteen an hour? And how many hours are you working on? Sixteen an hour and um it's Averaging like 35 an hour okay. or 35 hours a week. week. Yep. And you're doing like every week you take weeks off or like what does it look like? Um, yeah, every week. And, yeah. and then this, I'm not, so this I just started and then I also wasn't sure about like taxes with yeah. that. So. Well, there, there is gonna, you're gonna have to pay mm -hmm. a little bit of taxes uh, and then just being self-employed and everything, there's extra taxes that come with that. But with the bracket you'll be in and you know, hopefully, I don't know how much you'll be able to write off, maybe transportation to and from potentially. Um, but just the tax bracket you're in, I don't think you're going to pay too much, but it is always good to at least think about putting 25 to 30% aside. Usually 30% is the recommended just for safety. Mm. Are you? Not as of yet, because I ha was... Have yeah. you paid taxes these last like 10 years? Yes. Yeah. Okay. I've always had like pay stubs and did taxes that way so and you've claimed everything correctly and yeah. everything oh you had oh okay interesting so how are you being paid right now venmo right but you're, <laughs> you're keeping track of all that correct yes yeah it's all logged on there like every week and then you get like the quarterly statements so we are what yeah more than halfway through the year and you haven't saved up anything for taxes on the sign no i just so. started last month at this job Oh, so what were you doing previous then? I worked at a daycare, and it's kind of complicated. <laughs> um, this year has kind of been weird, so I worked at this daycare after taking, like, a year off with kids. I was doing, like, decent before that, and yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, just, like, what's up? Why'd you leave the daycare? What was happening? It was just was it the, W2? the pay sucked, and um, she was going to give me bonuses that didn't really happen, and mm. I ended up with this, like, debt. Like, I borrowed again from that thing. Yeah, and <laughs> we're about to go into a lot of that. Yep. A lot <laughs> of that. Before we go into that debt, though, you should hit subscribe, because we are trying to get to 750,000 subscribers, and thank you to everyone who has subscribed so far. So this debt, so were you just not making the money you needed to do, and you just ended up going to debt? Because you went into, like, a lot of different kind of debts that have stacked up quite dramatically for your income. Mm -hmm. In fact, for your income... This is if you work 35 hours a week, every single week, never taking a break, essentially, with that job, right. gets you that it's still just below $30,000, which is $2,426 a month, and then you have to put, like, 30% aside for taxes. So, even with that, like, especially post-tax and everything, your debt is over that, at that point, in terms of how much is owed, and the interest rates are insane. So, tell us about your financial situation. Why are you where you are right now, and yeah. what's up? So... I've, I've lived with my grandparents for a while, like probably six years almost now. And I have never, like, they don't, I don't pay rent. So I've kind of went into childcare and I kind of, um, I don't know. It's kind of hard to explain. <laughs> um, like my 
growing up, I didn't have very much stability. So when I was like moved in with my grandparents and had that stability, I kind of um, just was thought I was okay because I was paying the bills mm. and making bills. And I didn't really have debt and like besides a car payment until probably the last couple years. What, what, what's been happening the last couple of years then? Um, well, I took out that upgrade thing and you sure did. <laughs> yeah, I did. And then, um, I wanted to just kind of take some time off cause I, I do work a lot, like two or like up to two or three jobs sometimes. And okay. Well right now it's only 35 hours a week. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if I'd consider that a lot, but sometimes Not right now it's okay. yeah, but yeah. And it would be. I would like make bigger purchases and then not really save. And I any reason was, why? No, I just probably ignorance. Yeah, I just didn't think of the future at the time. Mm -hmm. okay. In my early twenties and dumb, but okay. So, what would you give yourself a score? Zero out of ten. Zero point five. <laughs> Zero point five. Okay. Well, I at least appreciate that honesty. That. Honestly, we're about to go into this debt, and that kind of aligns with potentially what I've seen. So why'd you go into this upgrade card mm -hmm. loan of death, insanity, chaos? Terrible, yeah. Um, well, it was, I was just burnt a couple summers ago. I was burnt out and just wanted to take a couple months off. Burnt out from what? Working. What were you doing? I was doing child care, and um, I did photography on the side as well. And I also had times where I worked at a restaurant in town, local restaurant. And how many hours a week would you, would you say you were working at that time? I'm just trying to, how are you burned Probably out? Probably like 80. So there's something going on down there. That's like, oh, I'm playing nice. with my phone. Case. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. So I just want to make sure it's not being picked up on microphone. Okay. Then you got burnt out and then you just took out debt to live instead. Um, yeah. Cause yeah, that's kind of where it ended up piling up. I, I was working. I had a school district job as a para professional. Dude, you've been you you've done like more jobs than yeah. like most people do in a lifetime. Within yeah, the I worked last at a child care decade. center consistently for like over four years and was doing different side stuff while I worked there, and then I got this para professional job, and was doing okay with that. And that's when I took this loan out because I knew I was going back to work. When did you year. take this loan out? Um, originally like probably two summers ago. If you took this loan out two seven, two summers ago, I'm so curious. Why I did. I, cause I did pay it off. Like at one point you it was paid, paid this off. off. Yeah. And then knowing it has a 30% death interest rate, why yeah. did you possibly get it all the way up to the max? Because you owe $4,387 and 10 cents on here, but there's only available credit of $160. Mm -hmm. Why are we where we are I now? Borrowing against it. No, no, no. I know. But yeah, if you paid it off and you made that progress, why did you put it back on? I need to know where your mindset's at going into this. Um, yeah, I know it's not good, but there wasn't probably any logic behind it, honestly. But Are you still spending money on this? No, no. Okay. 30% death. Yeah. Interest rate. This is crazy. Okay. Well, say it with me. You're, You're not, not a credit, credit card, card person. person. And nope. <laughs> nope. we know that immediately because you max this out again. We're about to go through like a million other debts mm -hmm. of which, by the way, you are not just not. Uh, still spending money on those debts and cards. I'm glad you're not in here. You really can't. There's only $160. Right. You know, I don't know. It's I'm immediately nervous of like what to do just because, okay, let's pay it off. But then you have something that was paid off. Yeah. But then are we just going to do another 4500 bucks on something with 30% interest rate again? Or are we just going to do that again? Mm, not this time. <laughs> What's going to be different about this time? Well, the plan is to pay off the super high interest stuff and then close those accounts. Or Well, what's going to be different about you this time? Oh, Plans are great, yeah. but what's different? Well, now I'm aware of how terrible it is because I thought I was doing okay because I was making the payments. And then when I left the daycare, like at the end of winter it was, I... Um, sorry, I lost my train of thought, <laughs> but when I left the daycare at the end of winter is when kind of, I 
took it out again because of last winter. Yes, like you February. stacked that up within just a few months. What on what? What was paid? What'd you spend it on? Like bull. Yeah. <laughs> like oh jeez. Okay. And then I well after I left the daycare, I didn't have a plan, so I kind of lived on that for a couple months. Like this May was when I kind of got back into work, like stably. Okay, there's I'm there's like red flags everywhere. It's this is like a red yeah. flag central right now. Paying off cards, putting it back up, taking off work, working like a thousand trillion different jobs within just the last few years. Mm. Like, how do I know you're going to be in this nanny job for two months from now at this rate? Like, what if you feel burned out? Then all of a sudden we just like we open another card and just. No. This is this is not. By the way, shaming you in this situation by any means. I'm just, I'm scared personally, yeah. and I need to know where you're at and, like, what we can do here. Which, by the way, I should say, thank you for being on here. Though this is certainly a dramatic conversation and probably very tough for you, and I get that, there's probably thousands, tens of thousands of people that relate to your situation out there, and wow. you're coming on here, putting your situation on display, and it's hopefully helping them, and that's, you know, always the goal. So thank right. you for doing that, and give her love in the comments, because that's great. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's... The timeline's super confusing, but it is. But yeah, I didn't really realize how like absolutely terrible it was t since I left the daycare job and like saw it all added together. But I need to know what's going to be different this time. What's actually going to be different about you this time? What's going to say you're not going to leave this and go get your thirtieth different job next month? Um, because oh, I'm. Going back to school. I just think it'll be different. You're going back to school now. Mm -hmm. Okay. While I do this so job. So we're throwing something else in. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> What's your highest level of education? I did about a year of college. And then when I got training at the center I was at, I... Community college? With, yep. Do you have those credits still? Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. It's all transferring. It's the same place I'm good, going. Good, 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 good. What do you want to do? Um, I don't know. All right. Well, that's a that okay. We'll we'll go yeah. to that conversation in the future. I don't know if I want you spending money on college if you don't know what you want to do yet. Well, college is great. I know it was just. But well, when I left the daycare job, I like had a really hard time finding like other work. Sure. Is it a small town, small community? Yes. yes. What's like the population? You don't have to tell us the town, but like, what's the population? It's, um, I don't know. It's one of the bigger towns, like. That is a very small population, <laughs> 33,000 people. Okay. So, but, yes, I can see um, opportunities being limited for sure. Yeah, and it was because I thought I was good with the training I got through my old job, and then it was kind of child care ki positions kind of cap out at a certain pay, like $20 I'm an sure, hour. I'm sure, I'm yeah. sure. When there's, when there's this less market availability for that Yeah, and service. now that I've, like, 10 years of experience it was kind of like i don't want to do the same job forever so if i get my associates maybe i can just get a better job well, from we'll, there. we'll talk yeah. about that that's an important conversation we'll talk about that we got to get through the deaths and see what your financial situation looks like okay. so we know we have the 4226 at the death death 30 percent interest rate mm -hmm. at 193 dollars a month minimum monthly payments these minimum monthly payments are about to stack up by the way yeah. now we had a card. You had a thousand dollars on it. That's not great. But then you made one hundred fifty dollars, a hundred, hundred dollars of payment, or hundred eighty dollars of payments. So that's great. But then we did four hundred dollars of purchases. Four hundred dollars of purchases. Yeah. Why possibly on a card that we are losing interest rate on, which is fourteen dollars and sixteen cents on a monthly basis, which also thirty percent interest rate, if I'm not mistaken, which also yearly interest loss one hundred thirty two dollars. Why are you possibly spending four hundred dollars on it on a monthly last, last the most recent month? That yeah, was why? the plane ticket. Okay, because I had the airline credit and it was going to cost me a hundred dollars out of pocket. And by the time all the emailing was done, it went up to three hundred twenty five. Well, the good news is we do reimburse some of it. Oh, what? We, well, I'll <laughs> talk to you about that afterwards. But, okay, hopefully, even if there was no reimbursement, I'm hoping 
The $401 is considered an investment that this will help a situation that will more than have a return on investment of that $400 in terms of potentially tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of dollars in terms of you getting out of debt, starting to invest and being able to retire at some point. So hopefully that has a good Mm -hmm. investment on it. So, okay, it's the Quicksilver with $1,285.84. With a $45 minimum monthly payment and, of course, 30% death extreme interest rate Mm -hmm. of 29.14 interest accrued within the last month. Crazy. And then in here. And no, it wasn't just a plane ticket. Come on. Spending almost 40 bucks at Hobby Lobby and spending over 40 bucks at DoorDash. Do we need to be DoorDashing? Do we need to be DoorDashing no. while we have no. the stupid 30% debt and another stupid 30% debt and more debt that we haven't even talked about? Mm. Should we be DoorDashing? No. Why did you DoorDash? Because it was just last month and you said, oh, but I I, I, I learned. I learned I the know. piece of personal finance, to which is myself, great. To myself, it's better <laughs> than I was doing. But yeah. Yeah, I know. Okay. Not a good habit. Not a good habit. We don't do it. We don't do it for a single second. DoorDash doesn't exist. Honestly, should it really exist afterwards anyway? I don't know. It's a very expensive way to get food. It's only if you can be very easily afforded within the budget. Mm -hmm. Does it ever make sense? And then, of course, we have another card. It was $662. Made $180 payment. Great. That's over the minimum monthly. That's awesome. And then, again, purchases. It's only $18. But Mm -hmm. still, why are we putting money on a card that you are losing $14.85 of interest on on a monthly basis? And you have lost at 32% interest rate, Mm -hmm. $45.71 this year so far in interest. Why possibly would you be putting 18 bucks on this card? No, no good reason. It's just... Obviously, I'm not a credit card person. You're not a credit card person, not a budget person currently. It's... I'm... Okay. It's... It's okay to give an excuse as of why you put this on here because that at least gives us insight into why. Into the I don't knows or it's just bad or I was just being bad. Like, please tell me. What's your... What's your justification behind it? Where were you mentally when you went in DoorDash and Hobby Lobby and then what you do on here? Uh, Gas, probably. Oh, gas. But then why'd you put it on this card? I need to know where your head's at. We have to get to the bottom of certain things so that we can put you in a better place going forward. Well, yeah. I always... I always make payments on time, so I just kind of justify it to myself that way. That's not true, and we'll go into that. Go ahead. (laughs) Sorry, continue. Yeah, I just kind of justify it. Well, I'll pay it back later, and then it adds up, and I owe a lot. Okay. That's just... Okay. Good. Well, thank you. (laughs) No, that's very helpful. That's good. So you think just because it's able to be paid back later, and because in general... You know, making them minimum monthly payments. You're chilling. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now we have another card. This one is less. Uh, that I believe I paid off. Yeah, because there was like nothing. It was like seven dollars and thirty-one cents, but there were fees of eight dollars thirty-two cents. Yeah, well, and then it well, was after I paid it off. I saw that when I was I it like uh, a transfer fee or what? And what maybe was it? it was annual. Oh, this is. Oh, credit one. <laughs> oh, if there is a credit card or bank or whatever that I have learned to hate throughout the process of this show, it is credit one. Uh-oh. Credit one of death. Because they just, they're just punching poor people in the face on a daily basis. It's not fair. Oh, yeah. It's not, well, people sign up for it, but it's just the predatory practices that they go after. I like credit cards. This company and the way they go after people with their terrible, terrible fees, just so people feel like they have a place they can spend money, it's disgusting. It's mm-hmm. terrible. So, yeah, cut that up. Do you have it with you? Yeah. Are you gonna? Are you willing to cut it up? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Good. So this is credit. One. Oh, there's really nothing to pay off again. Seven dollars thirty-one cents. So just pay that because it was fifty-eight dollars sixty-two cents of fees charged within twenty twenty-three. You have a monthly fee. It's probably that like seven thirty-one. It's a monthly fee. It's done. I need you to close this one. Usually, I'm not a close account kind of person, but you're just losing money on this. Yeah. You're gonna close this account. Definitely. And then 
interest because again you did hold balances on it of eight dollars and thirteen cents this year and uh twenty nine percent interest rate but there's nothing nothing there to pay off yeah. but we do have a car i'm assuming is what this loan is yes this is at a mm. better interest rate of essentially six percent yes and when you take into account appreci- depreciation and everything like that i still don't like that i wouldn't want anything on vehicles that are three over three percent so it's still not good we'd still want to pay it off early what's extra bad on this is the 70 uh you took out of course 71 74 months so you're just like, well, what's the longest we can do it in order to get the minimum monthly payments down? And you took out like the longest car loan, and then you're like, okay, cool, yeah, happy days. You and then and then uh, with that, I mean, you're paying a total of seventeen thousand two hundred thirteen on the money you borrowed of fourteen thousand five hundred twenty six because of the interest. Right. So even though the interest rate feels lower compared to like the crazy yeah. fifteen twenty five percent that we've seen in terms of cars, it's still terrible. Yeah. But that one, I paid two fifty a month, so it's like eleven over the minimum. <laughs> that one, I thought I was doing okay. <laughs> right. Yep. Okie dokie. But well, so I don't know this bank. The finance charge, the way they have it lifted out. I wonder what the early repayment is. I wonder if that's like. Okay, total payments after you've made all payments. Okay, would be the seventeen thousand, but the amount you financed was that fourteen thousand five hundred sixty-two. So we're definitely gonna try to pay that early, early so you don't have to pay that close to three thousand dollars in interest. Okay, so fourteen thousand five hundred sixty-two, and all your money's going to interest right now, except mm-hmm. for that little bit that you're making extra at a two hundred thirty-nine and nine cent minimum monthly payment at what was that five point seven four percent interest. So essentially 6% interest. Okay. Now in terms of you're like, you're like, okay, I feel okay. Mm-hmm. You've overdrafted this year so far on your checking yeah. account. You've overdrafted. I did the last couple months. Yep. Yeah. So if we're overdrafting, do you really feel that mindset that you just said of like, oh, but I can just pay everything. Yeah. No, I know. It's because I wasn't. I was having such a hard time finding a job after I left. The Why'd daycare. you quit before finding another job, especially in your situation with zero dollars in savings? Correct. Right. Um. Yeah. It's just because I was basically losing money with that job and I was not making money at all. And then um, I had to, like personal things happen right after I took that job with her and I had to miss a week go down to salt lake because my aunt died and then oh, i'm sorry yeah and and then after that i just could not catch back up and um she kind of promised me bonuses that didn't happen and i, I just I, I am not for sticking around a job especially yeah. when money's promise that was not given uh but at the same time what's gonna put us further in the hole yeah. Looking for a job where we at least have some kind of income versus just no income whatsoever. I know. Yeah. And it wasn't the best choice, but it, my mental health improved a lot afterwards. So I kind of. Well, how's your mental okay. health with all this debt? And not good. It's I hate it, but <laughs> that's the only thing that's stressing me out, fortunately, right now. But OK, so on here, I mean, you have five hundred sixteen dollars in there. It's a little low for a checking account. I'd like to at least see a thousand bucks just for safety mm-hmm. reasons. And again, I'm terrified of that zero dollars in savings. Do you even have a savings account? No, I I got SoFi, but good, and that's great. Link in the description below because there are sign up bonuses and a really good um, yeah. high yield rate. But you got it, just nothing to put in there. Well, I got it, and I was trying to put more money in it but it mm-hmm. won't let me deposit i have to like link my bank through it mm-hmm. i just recently downloaded it and put it in so okay no so, um, it's pretty chill to do i mean it's yeah. usually what you do with most high yield savings is you'll link your bank account to it okay and yeah then, yeah it was like the last week i put got it and what were you gonna put in there because you only have 560 bucks though in your checking account we wouldn't want less than that in a checking account no. do you have money well, somewhere i, I don't put, know about i just put 50 bucks in there um no that's okay it. <laughs> okay yeah we, what is this Rocky Mountain? That's my car. Oh, yeah. Okay, that makes sense. And then we have Prime Video or make mm. or like a rent or something like that. 
right of it's 10 like bucks subscription yeah. then so i see you go to some gas stations but then you also go, go to the gas stations and get like three four dollar purchases mm -hmm. which i assume it's not just gas right no it's yeah we're getting some taquitos and stuff you don't need to be doing taquitos right now in chef store what's chef store um it's like a bulk food place okay that's yeah. fine that's a good way that's a good way to save money oftentimes is the bulk foods and then we're drawing money of 60 bucks who knows where the heck that went and okay there's the gas that's fine and then the dda would draw 240 dollars and then we're getting some taquitos and then we're going to some chicken, Longhorn Saloon, mm -hmm. $4 taquitos, and Cole Avenue something there. Oh, that's my storage unit. What? A storage unit? No, I... Oh, sorry. It's an expensive storage unit. Yeah. I, it's actually my boyfriend. We have it. We split it in half, so I get paid 40 What do you need a storage unit? Um, what do you have at 27 that you need to store uh, beast i have i'm a beekeeper so i have bee stuff <laughs> yeah do you make money off the beekeep mm, not yet nope okay you need that's to, an expense you need to put a lot of money in to make money yeah well lovely audible that's eh, okay i like audible but it's just in your situation we just want to save as much money as possible uh and yes and then Adobe, and I canceled that, like Photoshop and Lightroom. Good. And yeah. then McAfee? That was an annual fee. Yeah. Yep. Oh, 150 and bucks. And then they reimbursed me like 60 because I called about it. Okay. I wasn't expecting it. But and yeah. Adobe, which you've canceled. But then Wendy's, you can't cancel that. That happens. And nope. So Miller Crossing, I don't know what that was. It was a, a bar. Yeah. Great. And... Taquitos and Lewis and Clark and Amazon and PlayStation, uh, 50 bucks there. And I think that one's gas. It's kind of hard to tell in here. And then, oh, the care.com. What's care.com? That's what I, that was also annual fee. My, that's where I got my nanny job through. So yeah. that also got canceled for next year. So friendlies, <laughs> which is probably a bar. Gas station. It's a gas station. Yep. Friendlies. 14 bucks? You just got $14 of gas? No, that was probably... <sighs> taquitos, yeah. and then there's more taquitos, and then we're drawing something, Prospect, 60 bucks, and Spotify, more Adobe, glad you canceled that, and then more PlayStation. And yes, $30 of overdraft fees. Right. So what you said earlier is not 100% true about always being able to pay things because congratulations, we're having overdraft fees, which is terrible. If we're having overdraft fees, then no, we cannot be going and putting money on something that we're just paying back later if we can't even have money in our checking account, correct? Correct. You agree? Okay, perfect. Let us figure out where some of this sits. So we have $0 in savings, correct? Yep. Dang. Okay, so we're going to really starting from the absolute bottom negative bottom yeah. <laughs> like there's there's really not you have twenty thousand dollars of debt mm -hmm. total minimum monthly payments of five hundred nine dollars and ninety six cents i mean that's already minimum monthly payments on the debts of which none are actually like good debts by any means mm -hmm. at least the car has something physical yeah. but everything else is just nothing all the debts minimum monthly payments are a third yeah. a third of your income after what you set aside for taxes, mm -hmm. third of your income. What's your rent? Um, none, with my grandparents. Oh, yeah. with the grandparents. That's great. That That's, should help us in this situation dramatically. Yeah. Thank goodness. I want you. Okay, so gas. I'm seeing. How much do you think you spend on gas on a monthly basis? Maybe two fifty or so. Okay. Do you put anything towards the grandparents' situation, like internet or utilities or anything like that, or do they just fully take care of it? Yeah, they take care of it. Okay, yeah. cool. I'm just going to lean this mm -hmm. towards where you were. Okay. Now, going out to eat and just spending money on bull, mm -hmm. essentially, you know, we're seeing like two to 300 bucks. Gross. Which again... Yeah. For a lot of people, that's not crazy, but with where you are in your income situation and the debts that are stacking up, way too much. Yeah. I mean, that could be going to pay off debts much quicker. 
Car insurance. What's your car insurance? That is about 156 a month. Now, what's the food situation at home? How is groceries done in terms of preparing food and shopping and everything like that? Um, so I actually, my sister and I have our, with our grandparents, it's like we have the basement apartment. So we kind of just take turns getting groceries. You, know? you and your sister live together? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep. Yeah. It's like a mm-hmm. duplex. I don't know. So she sometimes, sometimes shops for you. You sometimes shop for her. Yeah. Yeah, okay. we'll get, like, our own stuff and then, like, stuff we both use. I'm giving you $300 a month mm-hmm. you're allowed to use. $300 a month max that you're allowed to contribute in terms of groceries and everything like that. Okay. That's it. Then makeup, toilet paper, everything else necessary to keep the house afloat, 100 bucks is what you're allowed to contribute to that. Anything else? Well, health insurance. What are you doing with health insurance? You're above the that... Affordable Care Act thing. Yeah, that was that's on there. That's like forty a month. Health insurance. Yeah. Oh, because oh, sorry. Um. Well, yeah, your income would qualify for that. So I was thinking in terms of being on someone else's, but uh, forty bucks. That's great. Yeah. Happy to hear like, that. And anything else that you can think of that you have to pay for different insurance, uh, different minimum monthly payments on things. Um, I don't think so. Okay. Dogs, cats, because you know, mm-hmm. two hundred bucks went to Chewy's yeah. as well. Yes, I have a dog, and then yeah. my so my boyfriend will I'll do purchases on my card, and then he'll give me cash for that purchase. I just don't always redeposit all the cash. Mm-hmm. Well, before we go into all this, so again, your budget, the debt minimum monthly payments. Five hundred nine dollars, mm-hmm. gas two hundred fifty dollars, car insurance one hundred fifty six dollars, grocery three hundred dollars, toilet paper one hundred dollars, health insurance forty dollars. Do you do things like therapy or anything like that? I mean, it sounds like you do have. Okay, we need to go to therapy because you talked about these different mental situations that you've been in that have led you to dramatic things like dramatic purchases or yeah. leaving a job just randomly. So I think therapy is one hundred percent needed for you. It's needed yeah. for everyone, but is one hundred percent needed for you. And as someone who does therapy, has done therapy for a bit now. Highly recommend it for anyone and everyone. Yeah. um, Talk through these big things before you do them. I know. I'm hoping to take advantage of that when I go back to school because I do qualify for like financial. I qualify for financial aid. You know what that means? Well, it's like a Pell Grant. Oh, you're you're going to Pell Grant? You know how much you're going to get from that? Has it been determined? I think. 2000 per semester. How are you paying for the rest? What does the semester I, cost at community college for you up there? I haven't checked yet. I think last time I went, but that was like seven years ago, it was like 1500 In state tuition there for a semester, 3477 So the other 1477 were you expecting to cash flow or borrow? What was the play there? When are you going back? Um, end of August. Okay. And mm-hmm. have you thought about how you're paying for it? I was probably, no, I was probably going to do accept loans if I got those two because they're. So you, you were in a position yes. where you said a few months ago, you've realized that the debt is really bad. Yeah. And we were thinking of just borrowing more money in a situation where, as you've admitted on here, you do not know what you want to do. Does it make sense to go to college and take out debt for it if you do not know what to do? No. I love college. College is great when it makes sense. When it makes sense financially, uh, depending on the avenue that you go, and then when it makes sense for the career path and everything like that, college is great. You can also do things like certifications. There's certifications, things you can do. There's even things like I've partnered with companies like course careers where you can get different certifications in different tech fields stuff like that i don't know if that's for you it Mm -hmm. might apply to other people out there but there's different certifications you can do as well it doesn't all have to be going to college now that's okay for a semester especially with pell grants that's good you know we're only coming up with a thousand five hundred bucks a semester right to pay for things that's okay but should that be going towards that when you don't know what to do when we have 30 percent debt debt on multiple things 
Does that make sense? Right. Um, no, but if I just put like, so I've had it planned out to put instead of like the $500 minimum payments, I was going to do like a thousand. Okay. Where were you getting the a thousand from? Because of what is left over, because you need to set money aside for taxes because the tax man always be coming. Okay. You have You're right. $343 and four cents left. Okay. On a monthly basis, following my very strict budget, of which you weren't even close to following in your situation. So where was that extra thousand dollars going to come from? Probably just was not considering taxes. So, tax man. I know it's the tax man cometh. And what were you going to do this next year? Um. Well, they these people do want someone long term nanny, so I was just going to do that and go to school. Now, what were you going to do about the taxes? Oh well. I, you're I, that's why I came here because I don't know. <laughs> okay, yeah. well, that's a good answer. It's <laughs> a good answer. So three hundred forty-three dollars is left on a monthly basis. With that, uh, okay, we need to figure out. <sighs> okay, it could be. A... What are things you like doing? Have you thought about your career path? This is the part of the conversation where yeah. we can go into that now. I know. What do you um, like? I really do enjoy working with kids. That's probably why I went back to it. So, so. maybe elementary school. Would you like to be a teacher? Not anymore. No. <laughs> I was thinking more maybe like counseling or therapy. If, okay. You know. Okay. Because uh, there's... There's also, uh, though it takes a lot of school and it's kind of expensive to do it, but there is the, especially for the income that comes with it, there's also like social work and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Have you thought about that? Yeah. School counselor would be cool. Therapist would be cool. You think mm-hmm. you'd be able to do therapy well? You think that's something that would vibe with you? Um, I think so. I definitely would probably have to look more into it and get therapy myself. <laughs> so, yes. Yeah. Of which I want to put in the budget. Uh, well, I'm having a hard time squeezing it in there right now, but it is very important. Okay. Look look up different community resources. Sometimes there's things online, different programs that lower income people, of which you are a lower income person. You're a part of the 48.2% of Americans who make less than $30,000 a year. So in terms of those who work a full-time job, well, you're not even fully working 40 hours a week either way. Mm-hmm. Uh, look at local resources and things like that for lower income people being able to seek mental health services. Okay. There are often options. I don't know the town. I hope there's options. And then again, online. Yeah. Just check them out. So yeah, that's the avenue you want to go down. (laughs) Yeah. It's does not look good on paper, but I've been working like two or three jobs for so long. Like, I just kind of figured going back to school and just toughing it out for that couple years and maybe it would improve if I got a better job after doing the work. I don't know if that made sense at all. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, that, that can make sense. That can make sense. I'm just trying to figure out the best path forward. Is the return on the investment of what you're going to do going to be better than the return on investment of paying off 30% interest rate, 29% interest rate, 32% interest rate? I don't know. I think we have to attack those first. What we could do, $1,500 um, uh, a semester. Mm-hmm. So that's 250 bucks we could save up each semester to pay for the next one. 250 bucks a month. Uh, and that, of course, gives us like no wiggle room because I, I let's not go back in August, but I think we start saving up now to be able to pay starting in the spring semester of next year. Mm-hmm. Uh, pay it in cash because I really don't want you borrowing more money. I, I really don't. I don't know. It's going to it's going to be hard. We, oh, oh, I think we might be putting college on hold for a second for a second. Okay. So. $343. What you need to survive is $1,355 a month. So what I need you to do... Well, first of all, what I need you to do, actually, fun fact, right now while you're not in college yet, mm-hmm. 
you're going to go be a barista. You're going to go do this. You're going to go do that. You're going to do anything and everything when you're not nannying to bring in more money and bring that from $343 a month in extra to at least 750 bucks. You're going to go ahead and bring in an extra $500 minimum, which you should easily be able to do an extra $500 minimum post taxes. Okay. Easily. Please do that. Because if you don't do that, this is going to take forever and you're never going to have time to be able to go to college. You're going to borrow for college and then you're not going to be paying any extra on these because you don't have enough time to work while you're in college. And then we're just going and going and going this is the interest is going to be accruing, accruing, accruing. Okay. And then you're going to be in a position where you're in your forties and you know, we're finally starting to pay some of this off and uh, we're going to still have to pay off student loans and we have nothing safe for retirement. And then hopefully you're in a better job that you like uh, with the career path we're going down, you know, not making a ton of money, but that's okay. But at that point you won't have any retirement. Then we're going in our fifties and we're going in our sixties. And then we don't have enough money to retire because we decided to not just work our off right now and then you're going to be dying on the walmart floor mm -hmm. that's the dark future we're looking at i prefer to go the light option the option that looks like yay happiness and what that looks like is okay let's sacrifice now no more doordash we're not doing that at all instead we might be running doordash you know no more going into bars you might be bartending yeah yeah so boyfriend i'm sure he's a pleasant guy you're not gonna see him as much because you're gonna be working your ass off because you got yourself into a situation and now it's time to put on our big girl shoes or big girl pants whatever and we'll go make that monies to pay off the monies you already borrowed yeah deal deal do you agree no i agree yeah. okay cool so you'll do that yes okay so if you will bring in an extra 500 hours a month then we can put that into this process okay if you're 100 percent sure you're gonna do that are you mm -hmm. okay cool and we'll say you have an extra 750 bucks a month. It might take you a few weeks to get a job. That's okay. But just immediately when you go home, the first thing you do is job, 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 job. I'm finding a job and it's bringing me money. Okay. So 500 bucks extra a month, 750 bucks. What I need you to do for the first two months after finding this job, you're saving up to about $1,500. So $750. You're putting that in your high yield. The SoFi that you already opened is fine or anywhere else as well. That's the one that I use. That's your one month emergency fund so that if anything catastrophic happens, you can survive mm -hmm. for a month while you go and find another job. And we know you love finding other jobs because you're always finding new jobs. <laughs> well, at least you're good at it at this point, though. That is the one upside of always finding new jobs, right? Yeah. Is that you've, you know how to look for jobs, know how to do the interviews. So where we're doing from that, I think just, I think we might avalanche method this thing, honestly. Just where the minimum monthly payments are. Yeah. And just giving you extra room. I think that actually the upgrade one's the one we're going to attack first. Yeah. Then you're going to never spend on it again because it makes no sense. You've maxed it out multiple times and paid it off multiple times. You're not going to do that again because it doesn't make any sense. And I do not want you sitting here in six months to a year and saying, oh, I have a maxed out upgrade card that I paid off following this these uh, guidelines and then max it out again. We're not doing that because your life is important. You matter. Your future matters. Please, please. Yeah. So $4,226 divided by that 750 bucks. It's going to take about six months to pay that off. So now we're nine months in, but upgrade is gone, meaning you have an extra $200 a month extra, which is incredible. You're still working as hard as you are at that point, still working as hard as you are. So you're bringing in that uh, extra 750, but now we have woo $950 because we have an extra $250. That's incredible. From there, the Capital One, we're paying that off, boom, in less than a month because at that point, the balance would be lower. I would just, you're doing minimum monthly payments on everything else, and we're doing the upgrade first. Okay. And then the Capital One, that's gone in less than a month, so we're like 10 months in. Then you're putting all of it towards the Quicksilver card. At that point, with where the balance should be, that should only take a month as well. So now we're 11 months in. At that point, you have the car at 5.74% interest rate. Tell me the car. What's the car? 2014 Honda Pilot. How many miles? It's 114,000. Okay. Of the miles, but as far as I understand the brand and everything, it should be okay. How's the condition? How's everything? Um, It's good. I guess I need new... A, a CV shaft is what it's called. Do you know anything have, about that brand? CV shaft? I think that's what it's called. I. How much I is it going to cost? to work on it. Um, I think the part is like three or four hundred. Mm-hmm. So it's gonna cost you a thousand bucks? 
labor and everything? N- possibly. I have someone with a garage. I know nothing that could, about yeah. that part. Well, this might be delayed by a month, so you can do that if that's yeah. 100% necessary. And, of course, then we're at 12 months of this part. We'll just bake that into the process. So you're a year from now, you have a one-month emergency fund. You've taken care of that. You've paid off upgrade. You've paid off capital, and then you've paid off Quicksilver. That's where we're at in a year. Okay. From there, what we can do with the car situation, which I'm not absolutely thrilled with you having the loan. It's a 5.744% interest rate. I think we can get a better return on our investment getting you a degree than that 5.744% interest rate plus depreciation. I think we can. And I'm just thinking about this in a fully mathematical perspective. Yeah. Trust me, if you're in that situation and then you have the fire lit under your ass because you've been going crazy and you've been paying off debt and you're just feeling the exhilaration behind it, then sure, go ahead and pay this off as quick as you can if you want to. In this situation, because you care about this and hopefully during that year, you will have done some self-discovery, taken some quizzes online, figure out what you want to do. Mm-hmm. You then meet with the counselor. We can get you back to school. It's going to be awesome. You're going to cash flow it because you have an extra thousand bucks a month. You are paying for that semester. You're paying for that semester. Then you also have some extra money. That extra money that you have on a semester basis that doesn't go for the thousand five hundred dollars, which, by the way, should be an extra thousand. uh, Well, okay. well, during that time, the minimum monthly payments will have gone down because you don't have them. But at that point, you'll quit your second job because you're going to focus on school. But you'll still work the thirty five hours a week on the nannying. Mm -hmm. The hours for school, it might be funky. They might be like late hours. They might be early hours because the nannying are also kind of odd hours. Just, but right. really, truly work that 35 hours a week. We might be down to like minimum monthly payments, down from the 1000 to with what we did before, like 500 bucks. So maybe you can only afford to do minimum monthly payments on the car and then cash flowing every semester. And you have a semester's worth of credits? Yes. So you can go ahead and get your associate's degree. But then with everything you've said, you need at least a bachelor's degree. And then you talked about some positions that would require a degree beyond that as well, like to be a therapist and stuff like that. So from there, the associate's degree, you just need to know exactly what you want to do mm-hmm. for a career. And then we can talk about paths forward from there. One thing I really want you to start doing at that point, though, we also need to save up and have an emergency fund. Maybe you have a fully funded emergency fund before you start cash flowing school. So maybe it's a year and a half before you start cash flowing school. I also really want to see a Roth IRA max out on a yearly basis because right now you're still and you're even at that point, you're finishing up the best decade of your life for compound growth. You know, Mm -hmm. we want you to get to a point where you have at least a million dollars by retirement. And by the time you and I are ready for retirement, who knows what Social Security will look like. And a million dollars certainly won't be enough. But we need to get you at least to that point. Mm -hmm. And we're not even close to looking at that horizon right now. So a lot of things are up in the air in a year, year and a half from now. What do you want to do? What does school look like in order to get to the place you want to do? What does your job look like at that point? Are these debts fully paid off? Do you save up the emergency fund, which I would, of six months, which would be uh, $10,000 because it's below $10,000 with what you need to survive, but I want a minimum of $10,000 just in case something medical happens or just in case a car breaks down. Okay. So things are up in the air, but what's most important right now is you get that one month emergency fund, you go get that second job, you pay off the upgrade, you pay off the capital one, then you pay off the quicksilver, then you save up a six month emergency fund. Then what you determine is most important to do from there is up to you and we can have a conversation at that point. Okay. But that's what the next year to year and a half looks like. Yeah. And go bring even more money in than I said. Minimum extra five hundred dollars a month post taxes. Yeah. Bring in more if you can. Go crazy. Go crazy. It was absolutely Try. wild. <laughs> I don't care if it's federal minimum wage. Work as much as you can and get better jobs the more you find them throughout the process. But I don't want to be negative, Nancy, right now. Yeah. Though you're an incredibly nice person, and I think everyone has just, uh, you know, is rooting for you and everything like that. I need to be the real person and say, you head down the path you're currently heading down, even where you've cut back a bit. Yeah. You're dying in poverty. Oh, yeah. Like, or you're declaring bankruptcies, you know, potentially multiple times throughout your life because you've gotten to the point where you've paid off debts. So let's just say you've gone through bankruptcy. The debts are gone, you know, depending on what you do. 
I see no place where you're not going back into them at this point. You know, we need to deal with some things. Definitely. Yeah. I, my grandparents I live with just finance everything. So that's kind of the example I have. And then my parents kind of both aren't financially stable either so there are certain ways to go about zero financing that makes sense but that's i doubt that's what they're following one thing you can do if you like this method of following things i partner with the fizz card and it's actually geared towards college students and you'll be in that situation again Mm -hmm. it acts as a debit card it's kind of an instant charge so it builds credit via a credit method when you swipe the card boom yes it's on the credit card, but it immediately gets paid off with your checking account. So it acts like a debit card, but it helps build credit. So you can get the double effect with it. But what's very clear, follow my budget. Use a budgeting app of any kind. I use Rocket Money. You can use any, whatever works best for you. You can just use a spreadsheet for all I care. Okay. But yeah. are you ready to chop up at least the upgrade card mm-hmm. right now? The upgrade the card. credit one? The upgrade card and the stupid, evil evil absolutely death disgusting stupid what was it called credit one credit one you ready yeah gonna kill it yes can you go get the scissors please from the kitchen yes this is progress this is this is the awakening of the future you this is the rest of your life starting to make progress you being able to see the sunset on the other side of the horizon, on the other side of the hill that you're going to be climbing up, credit one. Which? Okay. So whole. Mm. Oh, thank you. Of course. Now I, I want you to do the honors, but okay. I'm trying to black out some important information first. This is. Oh, I don't think. I don't think I can. Cover up your name on here. Cover up your name on here the okay, best you can. That's, that's perfect. So you can do that. Now chop it up in camera. Lift it up. Whoa, not, the, not the card. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Chop it. Kill it. Yes. <laughs> End it. <laughs> End its existence. Okay. Woo! Yay. It's gone. It's gone. <laughs> it is done. Now go close account as well because not, not just for safety reasons, but because they are charging you stupid fees on a monthly basis. So yeah. f- that card, f- that bank, you're done. You're free from them. You're free from them, and you're going to go live an amazing life, and you're going to sacrifice to do it, and you're going to be incredible, and everyone's going to look up to you because you're going to make an amazing life happen. Yeah? Yes. Do it. Thank you. Any final thoughts? Um, no, I just got to do better. Yeah. <laughs> I'm excited to get rid of the debt. For Jess, it's going to be a really long road ahead with lots of hard work, but it is worth it, and I hope she does it. She took the first step by coming on here and by chopping up that card and closing that account. So good job, Jess, for that. For your Hammer Financial score, you kind of hit the nail on the head with your guess, but spending in a budget, uh, not great. Shouldn't be DoorDash, shouldn't be doing taquitos, all that stuff. It's not the worst we've seen. It's definitely a 2 out of 10. Debt. There's nothing in collections. There's nothing owed to the IRS, but I cannot go higher than a one out of 10. Retirement, nothing, zero out of 10. Emergency fund, nothing, zero out of 10. Real estate, not even part of the conversation, zero out of 10. For your hammer financial score, Jess, 0.5 out of 10. Check out all the resources I've linked in the description below. They are what I use or would use in different situations like a high yield savings account, different educational resources and places to invest like Acorn so you can get a free $5 if you sign up using my link below. Don't forget to follow my Instagram and Twitter. Thanks.